Look guys, I know what you're thinking. Mark, that's one ugly ass shirt. And you would be 100% right. However, there is a method to the madness and that's because guys, I'm gonna wind up spilling so much sauce on myself today, you'll never notice it with this colorful baby on. But, I thought this out really well. Trust me, this thing is going to be covered in sauce by the time the day is over. At least I hope it is. Because if it's not messy, it's not good, kids. So guys, listen, if New York is the city that never sleeps, I'm gonna tell you something. Thailand is the country that always eats. It's amazing how you can get the most incredible street food here at all hours of the day. It doesn't matter if it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight, two, three o'clock in the morning, even 5.30 in the morning along the beach here in absolutely perfect Phuket, Thailand, you can get the most incredible street food. And to prove my point, I'm actually gonna take you on a 24 hour tour around Patong, doing nothing but showing you the street food, all the different flavors, and everything they have to offer. And uh, you will not believe that yes, you can actually get incredible food at any hour of the day here. You don't have to order in, you can just go out, have yourself a blast, head to the beach, and uh, eat your way through a whole day here in Patong. Let's go. I honestly don't know what the view from your breakfast table looks like, but mine is out of this world. So guys, we're going to start the day out here with breakfast at one of my favorite stalls on the whole island. I'm going to tell you something. The breakfast that I get here, it's a traditional Thai breakfast. It's a egg omelet over rice. It has all kinds of protein, tons of starch, and it is the ideal way to kick the day off. And uh, let's grab one. Let me show you how it's made. And these things are amazing. The only thing better than this actually is where I go to eat my breakfast. You are going to love that location. I want some hot peppers, some tomato, onions, and uh, the chicken. Uh, onion, chicken, and tomato. Yes. That's it. How many eggs? Uh, just one. I'm great here. How are you? I've been away for a few days, so I've really missed this. Now, I'm not sure if it's the most important meal of the day or not, but I know this much. Looking out over that, it's definitely the most beautiful meal of the day for me. I love this. I find it so relaxing coming down here, chowing down in my unbelievable omelet and just enjoying this view. Mm. I love the spicy sauce. They make their own in-house um, chili sauce. It's incredible. The eggs are so fluffy. I love how they cook them in that oil. And the peppers, the onions, and the tomatoes just work so well in the omelet. Mm. And guys, this, believe it or not, 50 cents. That's all. Can you say hi to everyone on YouTube? Now I know what you're thinking, if I'm talking about beverages, I'm talking about beer. However, I'm gonna tell you something, on a day like today, when it's 37 degrees, these fruit smoothies are fantastic and there's nobody on the island better than this girl. To make you a delicious banana and strawberry smoothie. Mm. I love these. Now I know it seems like I'm drinking beer all the time, and yes, that is relatively true, but once in a while I do, I do partake in these because I absolutely love them. Mm. 
40 baht at the Banzan night market. Luckily enough, she opens up in the daytime a little bit early, so I get to enjoy them in the blistering sun, which is fantastic. As you can see, I'm a little bit sunburned from being out all day. Mm. Damn, I love these. So just the same way as beer and pizza or beer and tacos and beer and well, beer and anything, especially bacon go together really well, nothing beats this combination of this red grilled spicy, it's actually a sweet and spicy chicken. Nothing beats this combination better than a smoothie. Look, beer would be ideal with it, no question, but uh, for me today, smoothie's gonna do the trick. If you're lucky enough to find one of the vendors that knows how to make this dish properly, you have scored, my friends. This is just absolutely delicious. There's, there's no other grilled chicken here that compares to this. This is just oh, so tender. Mm. It has a very spicy bite to it but then the sweetness kicks in and it just makes it all oh, so savory and the skin oh it's got the right amount of bark on it I know it's super bad for me but uh, what can I say I love it absolutely love it guys this is this is food heaven right here mm. oh come on So if there's one thing that absolutely amazes me, confounds me, and just leaves me completely perplexed, it's how a country that is so world-renowned for its food and its cuisine could possibly revere a fruit so disgusting that, honestly, the taste and stench of it would gag a maggot. This durian oh <laughs> it's just horrible there's no other way to describe it yet the locals absolutely love it and it is one of the most expensive things in the world this is almost more expensive than gold and I'm gonna tell you something guys it is horrible and the worst part is get this how's this for bitter painful irony you can't even wash it down with beer because guess what? You could have a chemical reaction with this and possibly die. Now, I'm not sure if that's just a folk tale or not, but the kid's not going to find out. The doctor would be dead and who's going to help me? Oh, somebody help me because this stuff is terrible. Ooh. Oh. God, that's gross. Body cop, brother. I need one.
If you've been watching me long enough, you know my love affair with the tortilla and anything that comes wrapped up in a tortilla. And these kebabs here that this guy makes are just unbelievable. It is the perfect meat to vegetable ratio. And the sauce that he has, it's a homemade sauce. His mom actually came up with the recipe years ago. And if I could learn what it is and market it, I would be a, I'd be a freaking millionaire in weeks, guys. I'm telling you, it's that good. These simple kebabs, believe it or not, this thing is last than, it's less than a buck seventy. I mean, and it's just, oh, God, I love these. absolute quintessential street food item here in Thailand, for me anyways, mystery meat on a stick. Now, I'm told it's chicken, I'm not 100% sure. It is marketed as chicken saute with a peanut sauce, and guys, if you've never had this, chicken saute with peanut sauce, you have no idea what you're missing because it is so delicious. Oh. Mystery meat on a stick with this background, come on. Life is absolutely perfect. Woo. Let's go find something else. Uh, I'm still hungry. Here. Are these spicy? Awesome. So this is kind of intriguing because typically when they say spicy here, they mean it's going to burn meat out of your mouth. So I'm going to give this a shot. It's my first time ever trying it right here live with you guys. Let's try the skin first. Yeah, that's, that's warm. Skin is really crispy yet tender. It's got a bite. Yeah, it's definitely got a bite. Or a glass of milk. Now guys, one of the big perks for me of living in Patong is that I have access to these crazy night markets like this one here on Banzan. It is a street food market where they get all kinds of vendor stalls together in one place. So it's like a smorgasbord of street food. It's fantastic. Let me show you around really quick and uh, we'll get something to eat. I'll be honest with you, I'm not hungry at this point. I can still eat, I'm just not really hungry. But uh, let's find something that just screams Thailand here and uh, try it. And then later on, after the bar's closed, I'll show you just how insane it is at 2, 3, and even 4 o'clock in the morning here for street food. So guys, listen, I have to admit, I am absolutely stuffed. So I can't eat the pad thai, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it to the guy behind me because I know he needs it a lot more than I do. And uh, I still have to eat after the bar is closed. So let's go find a local beverage and um, relax a little bit and kind of unwind and take a break from eating so much, okay? Now 
isn't it amazing that no matter what country you are in, when you're drinking, all you want is a slice of pizza? And guys, I found pizza here on the mean streets of Baton, Bangla Road. I've got a huge New York style slice of pizza. It is pepperoni. Oh, I can't wait to dive into this. I'm gonna fold it like a proper New Yorker, which I'm not, by the way. But look, I got the technique down. Um, if I was Dave from uh, Bar School Sports, I'd probably give it a two out of ten. I think he does it out of a ten. If it's out of five, it's a one out of five. It's not that good, but you know what? When you're drunk and you need something to soak up the alcohol, this is not so bad. It's really not. I know you probably find this hard to believe, but Bangla Road does slow down a little tiny bit at night time. It's not all about the uh, street meat. It is about the street food sometimes. And guys, about two, three o'clock in the morning, there's even more to uh, more to choose from on Bangla Road. So let's go eat. Guys, what's absolutely crazy is that when the bars start to close, people grab their food and they come down to the beach and they have little picnics with their friends. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. Again, this is the place that never stops eating. It's insane. We are now at 3 o'clock in the morning. Actually, it's closer to 3.30, and uh, the beach is still just, it's alive, it's kicking, there's music, there's people partying, people eating, people barbecuing. When the sun goes down, the bars start closing. Street food becomes beach food, guys. And we head out to the beach, we have picnics, we get all kinds of different types of food, we get some beers, and we just hit the beach. I'm going to tell you something, guys, we still have three more hours left in this 24 hour food festival here in Dong and I think I'm gonna die. I can't wait to get out of this shirt. Oh dear God, does it ever smell bad? And it's just wrecked with stains. It's got sauce all over it. It's got beer here and there, I'm telling you. It's, uh, oh wow. Life is good here, the dog kids. Fabulous. So listen, I don't care whether or not you're a broke backpacker or an absolutely loaded billionaire. At some point in Thailand, you're gonna find yourself outside a 7-Eleven, you're going to be starving, and this, my friend, is what you want. 27 baht, which works out to be about a dollar and ten cents. And I'm going to tell you something, guys. Absolutely delicious. The ever popular, absolutely incredible ham and cheese toasted sandwich at 7 Eleven. These things, I'm sure it's going to be the death of me, but. Oh. At 5 30 in the morning when you're walking home. This, my friends, 
This may as well be Kobe beef. Forget about Wagyu. This is where it's at. The 7-Eleven ham and cheese toasted sandwich. It's just short of perfect. So at the end of the day, guys, what did we learn? Well, we learned this much. You can eat absolutely incredible street food here in Thailand, especially on Phuket. Any hour of the day, it does not matter. Bangla Road and all its craziness turns into a street food market at the end of the day, like every other street does here. The food is just so important to the culture of Thailand. It's really what defines it as the land of smiles because you can't help but smile guys when you eat something like this even the ham and cheese sandwich from 7-eleven guys listen if you're not living your best life find out what you need to do today to get living your best life and if it's eating ham and cheese sandwiches at 7-eleven come to Thailand we have plenty of them till next time guys cheers <laughs>